Well, a very good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you from wherever that you are listening in from. It's a brand new day right here in Uganda, and this is The Buzz UG. And of course, thank you so much for subscribing. And in case you haven't, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, former minister in President Museveni's government, Honorable Miriam Matembe, has advised Ugandans to get on their knees and repent. Perhaps God will redeem this country. Matembe, in a recent interview, disclosed that the deal to have President Museveni's son, General Mohozi Kanerugaba, as the next president of Uganda is already done and sealed. Horebo Matembe also lashed out at different leaders across the country that are endorsing the Mohozi project, calling them useless and hopeless. I want to tell Ugandans who are listening to me that the deal is done and sealed. It has been in plan for a long time because initially President Museveni's ambition was to stay in power forever and when he leaves, he hands over to his family. <music> We are back to the talk of accidents in different parts of the country. Just yesterday, Jalia Nachiboneka, a student of Law Development Center, was crushed dead by a trailer while riding on a border border motorcycle at Makerere Kavle. Well, the rider of the motorcycle took off immediately after the accident, according to police. <laughs> Kumuwa <laughs> Well, those are some of the eyewitnesses at the scene where the accident happened. Now, according to a police report, 257 accidents were registered in the month of October alone. And some Ugandans on different social media platforms are suggesting that it's time to reduce border borders in the city. Otherwise, these border riders are causing accidents because of their recklessness. Well, I don't know what you think about this, but I think we need to be more careful, especially now that we are ushering into the festive season. Accidents can really be mob. May her soul rest in peace. <music> Now, you guys, you remember earlier last month, city lawyer Susan Aloenyi was murdered in Chiwatule and her phone taken. Now, the latest update about this story is that the killer has been arrested by the flying squad operatives. Kampala Metropolitan Police spokesperson Patrick Onyango revealed that the suspect was arrested while hiding in Chebando. The suspect has admitted to hitting Aloenyi with a blunt subject on the head with the motive of stealing her mobile phone. We have also recovered the phone that was robbed on the fateful day. Well, there you go. Well done, the Flying Squad operatives. Big up on yourselves. That's the latest update I have on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you have anything on your mind you want to say about these stories, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jump.